Hello everyone. Today we're going to be discussing scalar waves and proving the existence of scalar waves. So what we have over here is Professor Mayo's experimental kit. He is in an individual who has um, studied quite a bit on longitudinal waves or scalar waves. And this is a kit that he provides um, to people to buy. So we've got the antennas here and conventional um, Tesla coils here. Scalar waves were first discovered by Nikola Tesla in the late 1800s and um, mid 1900s. So what we have here is um, a conventional Tesla coil uh, connected to this um, shiny ball antenna. <laughs> and it's sort of an alternative to electromagnetic frequencies or EMF radiation. And the way that scalar wave um, sort of communication happens is that we have to find this uh, point of resonance and once we find that point of resonance then we are able to effectively have the transmitter and the receiver communicate with each other effectively. So as you see over here these are LED lights at the moment we are at um, let's put it at a different frequency So this is at 7 megahertz. We can see that the transmitter is emitting uh, the frequency, but it's not being received by the receiver over here. Now this is some silver fabric that we put in um, EMF protective garments. And you can see that as there is no connection between the transmitter and receiver, that um, there isn't any change in the LED indicator over here, as this at the moment is an electromagnetic frequency. So if we dial up the frequency to let's say around um, 10.8 megahertz, and now we can see that there's a bit of um, there's a bit of LED. The light is um, the light is on on the receiver as well and on on the transmitter as well. Now we can see that the LED lights are. A lot stronger on the transmitter than the receiver and if we sort of put this um, silver fabric in between the transmitter and receiver you can see that the LED lights sort of differ between the signal strength between the receiver and the transmitter. Now that's sort of the principle behind the EMF protective garments that um, say for example this is a human being we sort of shield that human being with this specific fabric so the signal gets deflected off of this fabric. Now finding the scalar wave frequency is, um, let's start it up to, now there is this wire being connected, this blue wire, between the transmitter and receiver and this sort of acts as the, the grounding between the transmitter and receiver. Now it's not effectively required, this can be connected to a socket and um, this can be connected to a socket and any other thing would work in this principle as well. But to prove this concept, there is this blue wire that is connected to transmitter and receiver. And this, this acts as the uh, grounding between, uh, between the receiver and the transmitter. So as we sort of change the frequency, and this is a sine wave at the moment, we're going from 10 megahertz up till um, let's say now this is 11 megahertz we see that there is a lot more signal being transferred within the receiver than the transmitter now to find the point of resonance these two LEDs sort of have to glow in the same intensity so that is somewhere around for these specific coils is around 12 megahertz. And if we sort of try and block the signal with the silver fabric, we can see that the intensity between the receiver and the transmitter is the same, the intensity of the lights. And this sort of proves that um, 
there's a scalar wave that's being emitted because scalar waves can travel through Faraday cages and the silver fabric is basically a Faraday cage. And if we sort of, let's say, put this metal box around the receiver, we can still see that the receiver and the transmitter are still glowing in same intensity with the LED lights. So this means that for this specific coil, that the point of resonance to achieve scalar, to achieve scalar, um, scalar waves between the transmitter and receiver is at 12 megahertz. Now scalar waves are also emitted by um, human beings naturally and Say for example, this is an individual on one side of the planet and this is another individual on the other side of the planet. And this communication can happen between the receiver and the transmitter through this specific principle. Now scalar waves are such that um, human bodies can sort of um, also absorb scalar waves. And if I sort of put my hand around this specific ball, you will see that the intensity of the LED lights is glowing a bit more. Or if I put it around this specific bulb, this specific um, antenna. So this proves that Nikola, Te Nikola Tesla's. So this proves that Nikola Tesla's theory of um, scalar waves is actually quite real. Now we can change the frequency to say, for example, to mimic um, EMF radiation. And um, we should see that um, now on one side of the coil or the receiver, the intensity of the LEDs is a lot um, is a lot more. Now, if I put my hand between and this point of frequency actually sort of varies depending on the distance of these coils. So if I move these coils a bit more apart or a bit closer, that resonance frequency or point of resonance actually changes. So we're just dialing through different frequencies. And we're at 10 megahertz. And we start to see the light sort of um, dim or become illuminated. And this for these specific coils seems to be around 11 and 12 megahertz. So let's keep the frequency at um, 11 point. Eleven point eleven megahertz, and see if this is a scalar wave by shielding one of the transmitters. And we can see that the LEDs are sort of they remain they they remain um, illuminated and don't go down in intensity, even if the antenna is shielded by a Faraday cage. So this proves that um, the scalar wave um, resonance has been achieved between these two coils. And um, yeah, scalar waves are real. <laughs> this is, of course, a much safer um, technology and uh, scalar waves are, as we discussed within uh, Feek's um, seven laws, the law of oneness. Um, that um, everything came from one source. Now, scalar energy is still something that's relatively new in the science, um, in the scientific um, community. Although Nikola Tesla was one of the first people to discover it, there have been a few more researchers who have uh, sort of developed deeper into scalar waves. And it sort of seems that um, it's sort of nature's way of communicating. Um, it's sort of a natural communication system that's built into nature. Thank you very much for watching and um, do go through the Feek 7 laws um, and visit our website www.feek.org.